I had said, hey, I want to get to work on, you know, the, the next day after the election, which is, is true, and, and I've begun that. But part of that work is, as you mentioned, transitioning. So uh, I've been in, in a mayor's role for 12 years and a councillor for 16 at the district, and um, that, that winds up. I mean, that's fairly simple to wind that up. But at the same time, you're uh, hearing from the clerk of the legislature and some other folks uh, at Queen's Park, and you're hearing from the party, and, you know, it, this is all new information coming in about what needs to be done to be... You know, the best MPP you can be, get your offices up and running, get ready for the next legislative session, uh, just you know, find out where the washrooms are at Queen's Park kind of thing. So I was fortunate because of my work with AMO that you know, I've spent some time there. Um, that means I know how to find the, the rooms easier maybe than some people, but that doesn't mean I know the processes uh, any better than any of the other new MPPs that have been elected. So uh, I'll be taking full advantage of the orientation sessions that are offered and, and making sure that I'm ready to go as a member of the legislature legislature as a local uh, MPP I'm, I'm taking calls and and you know at work already on what it can be well absolutely I'm still the you know the world's biggest fan of municipalities because I think they are just such a, a hugely important level of government and where a lot of provincial action uh, legislation where the action takes place you know is, is at the municipal level um, so we want to make sure we have a really good working relationship with all the municipal leaders. Uh, and, and one of my first priorities in, in a list of many priorities I've written out for myself is to be in touch with all of them to see, you know, what's their status right now? What do they need? There's an AMO conference coming up again in, in August, which is an opportunity for local municipal governments to be in touch with different ministers uh, uh, throughout, uh, you know, the entire provincial government to talk about the things that are locally important to them. You know, in my new role, I'm beside them with them helping advocate, you know, to the different ministers and ministries about what they need. How can municipalities be most effective? What are those burning local issues? So uh, I, I think there's a really great opportunity and one of the opportunities I'm really excited about is to forge a really close working relationship with municipal government. And, you know, there's, there's going to be a change in municipal governments coming up in the fall, but work with the current leadership and whomever the new leadership is uh, after October uh, and, and make sure that we've got a, a great partnership delivering what you know, the, the people in, in Paris, South Muskoka need. On, on the two things that you mentioned, um, you know, around fuel and, and those costs, there's some immediacy that we can affect there. And, and the Premier, you know, ran uh, partly on a platform of lowering the gas tax, the provincial gas tax, uh, and the fuel tax as well on diesel. And, and that will take place on July 1st as promised. Uh, you know, I think there's also another opportunity to work with the federal government and ask them, you know, hey, what, how do you plan to participate in lowering those fuel costs? Uh, because I, I don't think it does anybody any good for them to, to dig in on, on an ideology of, uh, you know, carbon taxation uh, or, or high fuel taxes right now when people need relief. So. The provincial government is willing to take a step. I'd like to see the federal government step up and do that too. And, and I'm sure the, the premier and, and you know, the relevant ministers will be advocating for that to the federal government. So that's something that's fairly immediate and day to day. And if you can impact fuel prices in a positive way, that has such a massive impact on the rest of everything that we buy and consume on a regular basis, whether that's food or whether that's, you know, the staples of everyday life or, or diapers, you know, you name it, it gets transported at some point, uh, maybe a long way, maybe a short way. Um, so, so that's one quick thing I think that, you know, that we're going to do that can have some immediate impact. Will it be a huge impact? Uh, it depends on the item, right? Uh, because as you said, global forces are uh, hard for us to control at the provincial level.